What's up, NFL fans? Welcome back to the channel, Rivas Talk Sports. I am back again for my weekly NFL predictions. For those who didn't follow the channel, we got over 85% of week six games correct. That is a bit unsustainable on a week-to-week -week basis, but let's keep the momentum going into week seven with the first game, Thursday night football, Broncos versus the Saints. The Broncos almost got shut out by the Chargers, kept things a bit interesting towards the end. Meanwhile, the Saints... Had the Buccaneers in the first half, I'm not going to lie, but they did get obliterated by the by the Buccaneers. So both of these teams lost. Um, the Certain may not play this game due to concussion. Olave might not play in this game due to concussion. So both teams are probably going to be missing their key players, but this is more so of a coin flip game. Give me the Broncos money line. I have more faith with Knicks and the rapport that he has with this team already and this Broncos defense than I do with the Saints that have lost. Four straight games in a row, and if Olave is not playing, Rattler would not have his best receiver to help him out. Broncos money line. Next game, we are going across the pond to London. Patriots versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Patriots lose to the Houston Texans, and the Jaguars lose to rookie Caleb Williams and the Chicago Bears. Look, an upset can really happen. If Drake May is starting at quarterback, this can be his breakout game and take advantage of this very leaky Jaguars defense. But Give me the Jacksonville Jaguars money line. I have a hard time believing that they'll lose back-to-back -back games in London and lose to rookie quarterbacks in back-to-back -back weeks. If they do, coaches may be getting fired and the Jaguars just might as well stay in London for the rest of the season. Have a hard time believing they'll be in London 0-2 in back-to-back -back weeks. Give me the Jacksonville Jaguars money line. Detroit Lions versus the Minnesota Vikings. The Detroit Lions obliterated. The Dallas Cowboys at AT&T Stadium. Meanwhile, the Minnesota Vikings are coming off their bye, well-rested for this divisional game. Aiden Hutchinson being out for the season is a huge blow for this defense, huge blow for this pass rush, and him not being on the field may be a bit hurting their secondary just a bit. But between these two teams, I think it'll be a very close game. But give me the Minnesota Vikings money line at home. They continue their undefeated season. I think with Hutchinson not playing, I think Sam Darnold will be a bit comfortable in the pocket, find his way through this Lions pass defense. And I think Brian Flores can scheme some things on defense to make the Lions lose their rhythm offense and make Jared Goff uncomfortable. Give me the Minnesota Vikings money line. Houston Texans versus the Green Bay Packers. This game is at Lambeau Field. The Texans defeated the Patriots. Meanwhile, the Packers defeated the Arizona Cardinals. This is going to be a very interesting game. I really wish that this game was on primetime. You have two great quarterbacks playing. You have C.J. Stroud, Jordan Love. So it's going to be a blow-for-blow blow kind of game. The Between these two, give me the upset. Houston Texans, who are currently underdogs, give me Houston Texans money line. The concern that I have about this Packers team is, even though that they are great with takeaways, the pass rush is a bit concerning. And I think that CJ Stroud will be a bit too comfortable in the pocket. And Neverson has not been hitting his field goals that well at Lambeau Field. I think both of those, both of these things can probably shoot the Packers in the foot and the Texans can squeak out a W. Give me the upset, Houston Texans money line. Tennessee Titans versus the Buffalo Bills. The Tennessee Titans lose to the Colts, and the Buffalo Bills are now coming off their Monday night primetime game versus the New York Jets and are now going back home after three straight road games. I have zero confidence in this Titans team. I'm probably not going to pick them as much during the season. Give me the Buffalo Bills at home. I think they could take care of business against the Titans, probably beat this team by maybe more than two, one possession. But give me the Buffalo Bills. Money line against the Tennessee Titans. No faith in this Titans team. Seattle Seahawks versus the Atlanta Falcons. The Seattle Seahawks have now lost three straight games with their most recent one on Thursday night versus the 49ers. And then we have the Atlanta Falcons that are, nice, that are on a nice winning streak now that defeated their divisional team, Carolina Panthers. Between these two teams, I think this may be a blow-for-blow blow game. I think this could probably be a high-scoring game, but give me the Atlanta Falcons money line. The Seahawks are on a downward trajectory. Meanwhile, the Falcons are on an upward trajectory, and it's in Atlanta. Give me the home field advantage. I think the Falcons can take care of business and continue their hot streak. Meanwhile, Mike McDonald needs to figure things out with the Seahawks team now that they're on a losing streak. Atlanta Falcons money line. Miami Dolphins versus the Indianapolis Colts. The Dolphins are now coming off their bye week, and the Colts 
did take care of business versus the Tennessee Titans. Um, don't have much say in this game. I mean, it's up in the air if Joe Flacco will play, Anthony Richardson play, but give me the upset. Dolphins take down the Colts. I think Hunley now has a few weeks under his belt with this Miami scheme, and I think they're looking to go at least 500 with Tua coming back and at least put him back in this race. So give me the upset. Dolphins over the Colts don't have much, don't have too too much faith in this Colts team as well. Upset Miami Dolphins money line. Philadelphia Eagles versus the New York Giants. The Eagles came off their bye week and just got a W past the Cleveland Browns, where the fire Syriana chants were getting loud in Philadelphia. Meanwhile, the New York Giants lose in primetime versus the Cincinnati Bengals. The NFL really needs to stop putting the New York Giants on primetime games as long as Daniel Jones and Dable are in New York. Because if you've been a victim of watching the New York Giants on primetime games, you may be eligible for financial compensation if you call 1-800. Just joking with you. But Giants in primetime games don't really mesh well together. I can see an upset here. I mean, divisional games, upsets do happen. But... The Giants need to figure out their kicking situation. And Daniel Jones has not thrown a touchdown pass in MetLife Stadium in almost two years. Can't really put that kind of metrics and statistics against this Eagles team. Saquon Barkley revenge game. And I know Saquon really wants to beat the Giants in this game. Give me the Philadelphia Eagles money line. I think it'll be a close divisional game. I think the Eagles squeak it out towards the end. Eagles money line. Cincinnati Bengals versus the Cleveland Browns. The Bengals defeated the New York Giants on primetime. Meanwhile, the Browns are still losing and lost their most recent game to the Philadelphia Eagles. Don't have much faith in this Browns team. I don't think they're good. I really think they should consider trading Amari Cooper and get what they can. It's kind of just start fresh because watching that quarterback isn't it. And this team is just going down the drain this season. Have more faith in Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. Give me the money line, Cincinnati Bengals money line. Carolina Panthers versus the Washington Commanders. The Panthers lose to the Atlanta Falcons. Meanwhile, the Commanders lose to the Baltimore Ravens. Look, thought it was pretty much expected that the Ravens will beat the Commanders because the Ravens do take care, do beat the NFC teams easily. Very tough matchup. Wish that game was on primetime, but give me the Washington Commanders money line. I think Jaden Daniels will have an easy time against this Panthers defense, and I think the Commanders can take care of the Panthers at home. Give me the commander's money line. Las Vegas Raiders versus the Los Angeles Rams. The Raiders lose to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, the Rams are coming off their bye well rested. It's up in the air if Devontae Adams will play in this game. Um, I think this may be his last week with the Raiders. Um, but give me the Rams money line. The Rams are on a hot streak now that when whenever there are favorites, I think they won about five or six games in a row as favorites. And I really trust Matthew Stafford and Kyron Williams to move the ball on this team than I do with AOC and the Raiders. So give me the Rams to take care of business at home. Rams money line. Kansas City Chiefs versus the San Francisco 49ers. The Chiefs are coming off their bye. Meanwhile, the 49ers defeated the Seattle Seahawks on Thursday night. The Chiefs are underdogs in this game. Super Bowl rematch. Give me the undefeated Kansas City Chiefs, underdogs, upset in San Fran. I think the Chiefs will find their way to defeat 49ers at San Francisco. Have more faith in this Chiefs team. Give me the Kansas City Chiefs, upset, underdogs, money line. New York Jets versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Jets are coming off their Monday night primetime game against the Buffalo Bills. Meanwhile, the Steelers defeated the Las Vegas Raiders. This is going to be a low-scoring affair. I think this might come down. I think both teams will probably score less than 20 points in this game. Both have you know pretty solid defenses. It's going to come down to which offense makes the big plays. Give me the underdog upset. Give me the New York Jets. I think it's going to be a very gritty, tough game. But I do like the Jets in this game slightly, just slightly, um, because I just – I have more faith in the Giant, the Jets scoring points than I do with the Steelers trying to score points. Give me the New York Jets to defeat the Steelers underdog Jets money line. Talk about the Monday night games. Baltimore Ravens versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Baltimore Ravens took care of business against the Commanders. Meanwhile, the Buccaneers obliter obliterated the New Orleans Saints. As long as Lamar Jackson is playing, I expect the Ravens to defeat NFC teams. 
Lamar Jackson is 22 and one versus NFC teams. There is no way that I'm going to choose the Buccaneers, especially with that kind of track record. So give me the Baltimore Ravens money line over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, last but not least, we have the Los Angeles Chargers versus the Arizona Cardinals. The Chargers defeated the Denver Broncos and the Cardinals had a very embarrassing game at Lambeau Field. It pretty much looked like the whole entire team had a Call of Duty slumber party at Kyler Murray's house and forgot how to play football. That's how bad they looked at Lambeau Field. With that being said, even though the Cardinals are going back home and hoping that they can recuperate, give me the technically more sound team. I think the Chargers can run down this team and I think that can help open up the passing game for Herbert to dice up this Cardinals pass defense. Give me the Los Angeles Chargers money line. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below on your week seven picks. Thank you so much and catch you guys next week.